And here's something that I find works. So if you, if some people are not struggling, uh, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, if there's ever an incremental dollar that comes your way, whether it's a re income tax refund or a bonus or found money, right? You get a big uh, chunk of money from your aunt, your uncle, your, your relatives or friends. I call that found money. What you do, something that you were not expecting, you can take that money and put that in savings. Because remember, you were able to live without that money. So mm -hmm. why not put that in savings? That's kind of a little way that you can say, okay, there's a lot of people maybe listening to us say, you know what, I can't afford to put any money away to savings. You can always take a look at the different bills that you're paying, how you can come back, come back on things, right? That's a good way of doing it, visualizing it. I'm a big Excel person, so I always put everything on an Excel sheet. So you're able to see to the dollar to the cent where it's going and where you can cut back. That's one way of doing it. Uh, second is that if there's any, I call it found money coming your way, you can always put that on the on the side because what that does again, it gives you that peace of mind in the event you ever lose your job. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not a big Excel person, but I am a big TFSA person. And that's <laughs> A great place where you can build on that money for future use, um, however you might need it, and be able to pull it out and put it back in at the level that you took it out at. So, I mean, I'm not a financial expert, so I do prefer that you um, connect with somebody. But the, the the message here is make sure that you have enough money to cover your expenses for at, at least six months in the event of something like this happening. And Murphy's Law might have it that it might not ever happen to you because now you're so prepared <laughs> that... Um, it's not going to be a concern hanging over your head. So now let's shift to you lose your job unexpectedly. I have to say it's very devastating, right? It's very shocking to the body. So how, how should a person deal with that? And even if you kind of know it's coming, it's still shocking. So there are some things that you immediately need to do. So you're going to go through the, the um, stages of loss. Um, and the first one will be shock and denial, but very, very quickly, like immediately, you're going to have to be on some of these questions. So how long do my benefits go? When is my last paycheck? What is my last paycheck? Am I going to be paid out for my vacation? What is my package? And making sure that you have the opportunity to, A, don't sign on the spot, but have a time to think about it when you might not be in that mind state of shock um, and have a reasonable amount of time to go seek a lawyer um, if that's what you would like to do, you should have that opportunity um, before you respond to the company. So these are like immediate things, even in the midst of shock, it's kind of um, unfortunate that you do have to think about these things quickly. And so knowing them in advance will just give you a further advantage in helping to deal with that in a way that's going to set you up for success and your family up for success. 